episode 2 of our Real Steel series. Today we are talking about Glocks in Escape from Tarkov and in the real world. I'm in the German is back for you guys and this is the episode 2 of our Real Steel series. In this series I am talking and reacting about some Real Steel firearms, handguns and how well they are or maybe not in Escape from Tarkov. And today I'm talking about Glocks in Escape from Tarkov and let's compare them as realistically as we can with some Real Steel aspects. So a little backstory, not as long as in the first episode. I was a sergeant in the German military and during my training to become a sergeant I've became a firearms instructor for the military and after my time in the military I continued being in this tactical industry. Let's keep it that short. And furthermore I'm a Glock owner so this is going to be a fun episode and let's talk about Glock. So Glocks are highly known that they are always working in any circumstances. For my personal use, I own a Glock 19X. The 19X version, it's in my opinion, the best of both worlds. You have the short bar barrel from the Glock 19 and the bigger hand grip from the Glock 17. So because in my opinion, I do not need the Glock 17 uh, slide and rail and barrel, of course. So I like the Glock 19X and I like the, the look of the Glock 19. So in Tarkov, the thing is you can do a lot with your Glocks and that's why, what I like. You have this basic Glock, you're good to go, 15,000 rubles. The Glock was a ver for a very long time one of my main pistols because some wipes ago you could buy Glocks for Euros. I made a lot of interchange runs and the Glock was perfect for that purpose. I do not like hatchling runs or hatchet runs or whatever. I like to have a pistol. Furthermore, you can do a lot with Glocks in Escape from Tarkov and that's why I think they made a pretty good job with Glocks in Escape from Tarkov. But the thing is, if you are a Glock owner in real life, you you know what I mean. The trigger from the normal Glock, the stock trigger, is, I'm, I'm not saying horrible, but that's the biggest issue. And in my opinion, they added some some Ceph parts in Escape from Tarkov. I do not understand why we don't have a trigger modification for the Glock in EFT. That would be very nice. That would be an option to make the Glock a little bit better in Escape from Tarkov because I think playing with pistols in Tarkov can be very rewarding. It is difficult because of course you can't have that low recoil. Shooting pistols in real life is pretty difficult. So we always said that shooting with a red dot sight isn't that difficult. Just point and aim and click where your red dot is and you're good to go. Of course if your red dot is well adjusted but with pistols with like the iron size of a pistol on 25 meters it's not that easy to shoot with so in my opinion you can see a pretty good shooter when he can shoot this pistol very well and i'm talking about like an iron side pistol not an ipsc whatever pistol like i said a basic iron side glock or some other pistols so in my personal opinion is if we have some students with glocks it's very easy to teach them how to shoot it's a pretty simple pistol if you are disassembling the Glocks, they are also quite easy to reassemble them. So that's why I like Glocks in general, as I said. But I think BSG did a very good job with Glocks in this game. Maybe you could add some more stuff for Glocks or for some other pistols, but is there the player base or is there any interest from the player base to have some more modifications for pistols? So that's a thing I want to ask you guys. What do you think about pistols? I'm a big fan of pistols, but they aren't that good. They are good for some budget runs, for some loot runs, for some questing. But of course with pistols you have to aim very properly and with this full auto meta right now you have it really hard with pistols. Of, of course you can play some drum mech Glock 18 and that's a good thing in my opinion that we have this um, yeah I would say brutal pistol in Escape from Tarkov but also the Glock 18 is very hard to control and that's very realistic. The Glock 18 is very hard to control IRL so that's why I think BSG did a good job with adding some Glocks. 
So in my opinion, BSG should add some more Glocks in different calibers. That would be also nice, but I know there is a lot of work with adding guns in Escape from Tarkov. And I think the priority is not that high for some other pistol or for some other calibers. And of course, the Glock animations are pretty neat. I would maybe do a little different chamber check, but it's also a personal preference. You can do it how you like. So I would say they transferred the feeling of shooting a Glock very well into a game, because as I said, it is hard to shoot pistols on 25 meters and above. And I know every one of you can shoot on 100 meters in the alpha zone. I know that, but I'm honest to you, um, 25 meters and above to make a very precise shot with an iron set pistol. It is very difficult and that's why I like this realistic factor. It is also very hard to shoot pistols in Tarkov and it's very rewarding and satisfying if you like one tap someone in the head because you made a very nice pistol headshot or whatever. And now it's your turn. What do you think about this series? What do you think about pistols and escape from Tarkov? Let me know and write it into the comments below. My light is dying. I'm sorry about that and see you in the next video guys.